Hello everyone. We will continue that topic. ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class. And as a part of that, we are covering PF status and user command. So firstly, we studied how we can create our own GUI status. We added a button in the application toolbar. Then we assigned that GUI status to our ALV output with whatever the GUI status we created. Yes, how we assigned, we used the method set screen status of CL underscore SALV underscore table class. After that, yes, huge amount of learning. Yes, maximum people think now there must be a method for the user command, but there is no method for the user command. You need to use the method get underscore event. It will navigate you to the object of CL underscore SALV underscore event stable class. There we have a event. And what is the name of the event? Added underscore function. So we simply, simply created a event handler method. We registered the event handler method. And again, now, whenever we will go for how to fetch the data from VB AP table, again, huge amount of learning will be there and important from the interview perspective because PF status and user command, yes, it is widely used in case of CL underscore SALV underscore table class. Now we will proceed further. Suppose I will put a breakpoint. And now I will simply, simply give the input. Now whenever I will simply select a row and click on to this button, which event will trigger added underscore function. Who will handle the event? Event handler method. And yes, we have a event handler method. And yes, breakpoint stopped into that particular method. Now, we, our major target is now to get this selected row, to get this selected row. Because once we have the selected row, we can simply, simply take a sales document number of that row and we will display, we will fetch the data from VBAP and we will display. So what we will do, if you remember in double click event, we have a row parameter there itself in the event. If I will go to back button, if I will go to this event stable class, if I will go to events, you can see whenever we did double click, we have a parameter row here. So we simply, simply use this row parameter and we got the selected row. We read the internal table on that particular index. It was very, very easy. Now, this time we have the event added underscore function. I will go to parameters. Now people will say there is a parameter E underscore SALV underscore function. Firstly, we will see what will, what will be the value into this particular parameter. So what I will do, I will simply write importing name of this parameter. I will show you the value of this parameter. And again, so many important points will be there because this is the main pain area. Whenever we will go for PF status and user command through CL underscore SALV underscore table, so many challenges will come. Now, if I will go for this input, output is there. I will select a row and click on to this display button. Event called breakpoint will stop into our event handler method. I will go to desktop 3. 
Now, if I will go for this particular parameter, you can see this particular parameter has the function code of your button. If you remember, we gave the function code of the button as display. Now the question comes, this parameter is of no use of us because we want this index of the selected row and we use this event added underscore function. There is no such parameter so that we can get the index of the row. So how, how we will use that? So we will use one SAP function module and widely, widely used function module. What is the name of the function module? Get underscore globals underscore underscore from underscore slvc underscore full screen. What is the purpose of this function module? This function module will give us the values of the variables which are in ALV control or ALV grid. What is the purpose of this function module? It is clearly saying it will give me the values of the variables which are in ALV grid control, ALV grid control. This is your ALV grid. This is your ALV grid. Yes. So we will get the values of the global variables. Once we have the values of the global variable, I will proceed and let you know how, how we will get this selected row. So what I will do, I will simply execute and I will use this function module. Firstly, I will show you this function module. If I will display this function module, you can see this function module. If I will go to attributes tab, this function module is in this function group and description itself is ALV grid control full screen. So it will simply give the values of the global variables in the ALV grid. If I will go to export, we have so many parameters here and we will simply, simply use this parameter. If you see this parameter is referring to this particular class CLGY ALV grid. I will use this function module and then we will proceed further. I will go very slowly because this is somewhat tricky also. So firstly, we will use this function module. I will use this function module. You all know how to use this function module through the pattern button. We do not have a parameter into this event so that we can get a cell, we can get the selected row. So we are using a different way to get the selected row. I will go to pattern. I will use this function module. Now I will simply, simply uncomment importing and I will uncomment E underscore grid. As of now, I will use this parameter. I will remove other parameters. I am not using those. I am using this function module so that I will get a global value. I will get a value of this particular variable. In front of E underscore grid, I will write LO underscore grid. You all know why I have written LO because E underscore grid is a object. It is an instance. If I will double click on to this function module, you can see E underscore grid is type ref2. It means this is a object. This is a object. So I will declare LO underscore grid. I will write data. LO underscore grid type ref2. I will pass the name of the class. CL. GUI ALV grid. I will check the syntax. 
and activate up to this level. Now we have the object. We have the object of this particular CLGUI ALV grid class. Once we have the object, so firstly, now I will show you in the debugging mode. Are we getting a object of CLGUI ALV grid class? I will put a breakpoint. I will run this particular program. I will give the input. I will execute. Suppose I will put a breakpoint here. I will select this row. Sorry. I will click on to this button. Event handler method called. Now I will go to desktop. Three. See, as of now, this particular variable is blank. This particular variable which is returning as the object is blank. Once I will execute this function module, I will get the value. I will get the value because the purpose of this function module is itself. You will get the values of the variables for the ALV grid. As of now, we are getting a object of CLGUI ALV grid class. I am doing F6. Now you can see we got the object. Once we have the object, if you remember, in the same playlist, we whenever we cover the ALV by CLGUI ALV grid class, we use the method get selected rows. I will use that method and I will get the selected row. After that, same to same logic we will we have to write. But in this video, we have so many learnings. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started, we firstly put the breakpoint, event handler method called. We checked this particular method. In this method, we have a parameter, but that parameter is giving the function code of the button on which button you click. But we want the selected row because without selected row, how I can write the logic because that is my requirement. So SAP provided a function module. This function module, with the help of this function module, we will get the values of variable, global variables for the ALV grid control. I showed you this function module. We used this function module and we got the object of CLGUI ALV grid class. Just see how we are getting the result. We are covering the topic by CLSALV table. Now we have a requirement that whenever I will go for the button, whenever I will go for the function which we created, how, how I will get the selected row. So based upon the requirement, I use this function module. In the next video, I will call the method get selected rows of this particular class. Once I have the selected row, yes, I can simply, simply get the sales document number and we will simply display that data from VBAP table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.